Hello everybody, uh, time for another video uh, again, uh, so uh, today we're gonna uh, tie the, the grey eagle because I had uh, this one lying on my tying desk screaming desperately to me, say use me, so um, I'm gonna tie the grey eagle using this Capricelli uh, marabou feather uh, before I yet again go back to the Irish pattern. Um, so let's begin. Starting this video, um, first of all uh, I'm gonna use the Alec uh, Jackson uh, DRC 2051 hook. This is the one, 3 -0. Nice one. So, I'm going to take uh, oval tinsel, silver tinsel in the back, uh, this uh, time size uh, small, just to make it a bit more visible. So I'm just securing that one. So. Feel a bit better today. The flow is slowly going away. This is a pattern I'm gonna use uh, this coming summer. Somewhere there is sufficient. So just tying it in. Going backwards with the thread again. And since we have a bit of a gap from the hook uh, towards the tinsel here, we're gonna build up with some thread. Um, just to make sure the tail doesn't pop up, so to say. Otherwise, you will get the tail like that. I want it to be lower so just building up a bit here using quite thin thread so it will take some time and there we are tail time this tail, this is the tail I prepared in the video uh, talking about crest, how I prepare them for tail and topping. So there we are. Let's say that's low and slick. Tying it in properly. I want it to hold. So there we are. Maybe a little bit too low. Yeah. Mm. 
There we are. So it looks nicer. Uh, then we have a breast feather of uh, the golden pheasant. So I'm gonna just minimize this one. Gonna wet it. There you are. So waxing the thread before tying it in. I'm gonna make sure I tie in quite a lot of it. And then I just going to work with the fibers a bit. Want it to be a bit more. There we are. Now it's in place, you hardly see it. <coughs> gonna look nice on the fly going back again then I will attach the uh, twisted uh, silver tinsel Back again, flat silver tinsel. Place. Now time for uh, building the body. <coughs> so first uh, light uh, orange, seal fur. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's going to be three equal sections with three different uh, seal fur. So let me see. And on the third tinsel wrap, we will add we will add the um, Capricalier Marabo as substitute for Eagle. So I'm gonna make sure that that wrap is <coughs> somewhere. Bit, bit further. I'm just gonna try one, two, 
Okay, it's gonna be there. So I can tie that one in and then start with the next color that is uh, uh, yeah, darker orange. So I'm just preparing the feather to be tied in. Should be secure there, so just cutting the leftovers. <clears throat> Going back with the thread again. Silver. I'm trying to add it without taking taking a blood sample of my with my finger. Don't want to it to be too thick on the thread since we're gonna brush it out. over there and then it's time for the third color that would be pale blue more so 
somewhere like that. In cell time then. So I start with a flat tin cell. Thinking out loud. Uh, I will just follow the flat tinsel. as possible. I'm just gonna pick out a bit of the fibers here. You don't wanna have a flat body. Do the same on my side. Just pick up some of the seal fur. Capricalia Hackel then see when I have a 
very very close wraps of the name Tinsen Somewhere there. I'm gonna tie it in. Yes, we need a front tackle. <coughs> but before that, I just gonna manage feather a little bit Here we are. Front tackle, teal. In this case, I'm using pintail. I don't have that much teal. It look this similar, I would say. Waxing the thread. Tying it in. Cut the leftovers. There we are. So just stroking back the fibers while you Turn it around the hook. Cutting the stem. Brushing it out a bit. There we go. So the thing that is left is the wing. We're gonna use uh, this kind of feather, turkey. Cut a few sections.
me see how they look. Let's get my grandma with you fireplace from one of the wing. It was damaged. It's twisting. You don't want that, you want, want them to set, sit flat. a bit and there you are a nice V shape as you can see they should lie flat Manipulating the fibers a bit. So there you are. That will look very nice in the water. I'm just gonna finish off the head and uh, the fly is ready and I take a picture as always. That was it, that's how you tie the grey eagle, uh, fantastic uh, fishing fly, no doubt. I'm gonna catch a lot of salmon with it as long as I get to river uh, next year. So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, yeah. Uh, I might do a video tomorrow as well, uh, but anyhow, if we don't see each other before uh, or talking in the in the community or messenger or whatever, uh, have a nice Christmas and uh, stay safe out there. Stay away from the flow. It's a nightmare, really. Bye.